Hey, what's up? Joe here, one-third of the Movie Dumpster Trio. Uh, don't have a movie review for you today, but I'm trying something a little different. Um, I was really excited to get a package the other day, um, so much so that I was like, hey, let's do an unboxing video for it. So today, we're going to be unboxing the complete Gamera collection from Arrow Video. Let's do it! <laughs> Okay, so this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, bear with me here. My B camera is a uh, <laughs> Canon 5D Mark II. So I dug out that old fossil to get an AB setup going here. A little top down for you. So yeah, I was really excited to get this set. Um, it came in the mail the other day. And I the one of the first things I noticed was how fucking big it was. And I didn't realize it was going to be that big. I mean, we all knew that the Criterion Collection, the Godzilla Shower Collection, was going to be this big fucking book monstrosity thing. Um, but this, I thought Arrow was going to uh, make it in a uh, more compact uh, package. It's not as big as the Godzilla set. It's a little bit smaller. Um, but it's thick. That This thing is hefty. There's a lot of shit in here. We're going to get to it. But... I'm all, I'm already way more excited for this than I was for the for the Godzilla set. Um, I did a I did a little research on this, um, and I'm pretty sure every film in this set is completely restored. Uh, no Toho bullshit. Um, so yeah, let's let's open this thing. I got my little uh, my little knife here. We have a whole set upstairs in the kitchen, and this particular knife. I don't use for anything except for opening, um, vinyls. And now I'm opening this with my special knife. So here we go. All right. Hope you can, hope you can see that. I'm, I'm doing my best here. plastic out of the way and then of course we got this insert here oh that's cool so the whole the whole back of the um of the set is gamma shell which is really cool um i really dig it um just first impression just of this it's like a giant slipcase right so it's not it's not a book there's no pages or anything like that it's just it's just a it's like a giant DVD or giant Blu-ray, right? So, um, before we pull everything out of here, I want to just take a look at the back here. So we got... So th now this is the complete Gamera collection. All right? I know it's a little difficult for Criterion to get the rights for all of the Godzilla films because there's fucking, you know, 30-plus films. Again, that's a whole different conversation for another time. But we have the complete Gamera series here. So let's see. Let's let's run down this real quick. The collector's edition box set contents. Uh, we got uh, limited collector's edition packaging, which is dope. Um, housed in a large format, rigid box, fully illustrated by Matt Frank. Um, a hardback 130-page comic book, including a full-color reprint of the four-issue Gamer comic, originally released by Dark Horse Comics in '96. The first ever English language printing of the prequel comic, The Last Hope, by Matt Frank and Joshua Bugash. I think I'm saying that right. Bagash, Ashgash, Bagash. Um, perfect bound 80 page book, including new a new retrospective uh, on the series by Patrick Macias. Sorry if I'm butchering these names. An archive interview with Noriaki Yuasa and David Milner. Uh, Kaiju X ray illustrations ooh, oh my, 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 uh, by Joel Jan Yates. Uh, Fangoria set reports on the High Sea trilogy by Norman England and a viewer's guide. To the English dubbed versions of the films. Then there's double-sided four-panel poster for Gamera's map of Japan. This is going to be so fucking cool. I'm so excited. Um, in both Japanese and English, uh, collector's art cards for each film and featuring new artwork by Matt Frank. Wow. Um, that's already a ton of stuff, and we haven't really even gotten to the meat and potatoes of the discs. Um, so, before I go any further, like, I want the original Japanese version... High definition, cleaned up, that Japanese audio track cleaned up, and I want the American version, and any alternate cut thereof. I mean, if you're gonna do an ultimate Blu-ray, or just a Blu-ray in general, 
all of that shit needs to be there, right? You know, or you could just take the alternate uh, country of origin language and stick it on a disc uh, buried in the extra features somewhere. My head is spinning with all the stuff that's included in this. This is amazing. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's take another look at uh, the packaging itself. So, again, like I said before, we have we have this uh, kind of giant slipcase here, and we get it looks like we have a book, uh, our, our uh, behind the scenes book, the comic books, and then the actual uh, discs themselves. So let's pop this stuff out. Put that to the side for a second. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the movies in a second. Let's let's do the booklet first. Oh man. Holy shit. Oh, man. Okay, this this is pretty amazing. Alright, so... I don't know about you. Now, I thought the... I thought the artwork for the um, the Godzilla set for Criterion... Again, I don't want to keep comparing and, and comparing them, right? But it was like all artist interpretations. This is very much like... I don't know, you got some... This is fucking cool. This is awesome. This is like some Edo-era type artwork um, that I really that I really love seeing with all the kaiju stuff. So, um, this is just neat. Uh, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but I'm just going to flip through a little bit. I hope you can see that. I hope I'm doing a good job of, uh, of uh, seeing it. I can't monitor this thing because I don't have the right hookup. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is like the history of Gamera, and there's posters and... and goes into depth in each movie so yeah that's really really cool full color stuff um it's gorgeous it smells good you know like <laughs> like when you first get that brand new book or you crack that dvd or you or, or you crack that blu-ray or you crack like I don't know, i'm a i collect action figures so when i crack those up and i love the way they <laughs> they smell um so yeah so we got this oh man these are cool i hope you can see this well all the x-rays, these are fucking cool. <laughs> I love these so much. Oh, These are rad. I don't want to spoil too much for you, but this is what you have to look forward to. Oh, man. So cool. All right. Let's, moving on. So let's check out the uh, comics collection. The Dark Horse comics collection. I think you can see that pretty good. I think that's where it needs to be, somewhere about there. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, this is awesome. This is so sweet. Oh man, I can't wait to crack into this and like sit down with it. I've actually, spoilers, I never actually read this comic series, so that was another reason I was, I was psyched to pick this up because it's all collected here. Um, in a really, really beautiful, um, bound edition. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's really, really cool. So, yeah. Mm, got some color comics. Flying through the air. And, yeah. And that's the comic books. And there's the collected, the collection that's in there. If you can see that. Um, and then we come to the discs themselves, which is in its own thing, right? So one of the one of the big problems for me with the Criterion Godzilla set was that they had the they were like slidey discs, which I'm pretty sure this is too. But if you can get away from that, like I wish they would do it in a better way. Like I feel like I have to pick the goddamn disc out of it, and I feel like I'm scratching it or like fucking it up every time I try to take it out. Um, I don't know, if you're gonna do a box set like this, like, you have all of this room. Like, you have all of this room. Like, if you just did, uh, Aliens uh, did that with the egg. They released, like, um, this collectible egg thing, and then in the back, this, the bottom popped open, and you pulled it out, and it was like a, um, uh, a book of them, which were easier to slide out because the ends were open, so you just pull it out. It wasn't like, I mean, I'm not a fan of sleeves in general, but um, if you're gonna do it, why don't you just put it in a booklet, like, here, you know, and then make it wide enough so that you can, you can have, like, the click disc where you can pull it out and pop it in, like, like, a, like a seat, like a compact disc, or just like a regular DVD, I mean, I don't know. 
I guess you can just remedy that by putting them in your own uh, case. I've seen a lot of people do um, take all their discs out of their Criterion Godzilla case and um, and uh, make their own um, you know case for it, like a regular uh, regular Blu-ray uh, case. Um, so yeah. So here's the discs. And they are packaged exactly like the Godzilla discs. However, it looks like they're a little bit easier to get out. There's a little there's a little finger thing. This is cut out a little bit more so you can take it out. Um again, like so all right, so I'm just going to try to see, I'm just going to see how um easy it is to take one of these out. You ready? I mean, it comes out. Pr I, I I can take it out without rubbing it on on it, but I don't know. I, I just don't. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about it. That's all. It is what it is. It looks fucking sweet though. Um, so we'll put that back in there. And I'm just gonna flip through this for you. Very cool stuff. Um, very vibrant and fun like I really like it a lot very cool stuff then the last page and then oh I guess these are the uh, art cards Hope you can see that okay. They're not postcards or nothing. They're just regular cards. It's just kind of neat to have. This would be cool to like... These would be neat to like frame. Get some of those little frames just to like fill up shit. Like... 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 If you're hanging up a bunch of posters and stuff. Like these are neat to like frame in little frames and just kind of stick... In the little, you know, make that shit look like TGI Fridays. That's the way I like it. Fill in some gaps. This is cool, yeah. Very cool. And that's it. That is the Gamera set. Put all this stuff back in the box. Goes away nice. Also, this thing stands by itself, right? So, uh, it's big, but it's not unstable. Like, when you try to stand up the Godzilla set, it's so thin... Uh, you ever try to stand up a magazine? I mean, that's kind of what it's like. And if you, like, open it a little bit, the pages start to fold and get fucked up and stuff. So I'm, I'm not a fan of that. So you have to keep it closed and, like, against something or, like, lean it, you know, back, right? So the pages don't get messed up. Um, and obviously it doesn't fit on a shelf unless you customize the shelf to be that big. Um, this, though, I can just stand up. Nothing's falling out. Nothing's opening or anything. I can display it, you know like this on the shelf like if this was the shelf you know i could display it like that or like i can put it like this and put it amongst you know other stuff like uh um i don't know whatever you want uh hardback uh you know the collected comic books with uh, with hardback books you know the big ones um it's dope i cannot wait to spin these and um and yeah i'm sure they look amazing and arrow always does an amazing job and pulls out all the stops and and make sure they give you the best product they possibly can um and i don't think this is going to be any different so i'm really really excited to to um to spin all these flicks <laughs>